Hi, it's Vicki with Condi Systems Technical Support, and in this video, I want to demonstrate to you how to select a spot color using the Go Palette Pantone color chart I have open here. Particularly with reds, reds seem to be a more common issue. Uh, we have an awesome Go Palette here. We can send um, to you. There's several pages to it. It's a huge file. Um, as you can see down in Corel, I'm in Corel X6, but likely um, this video will work with all versions of Corel if uh, your palette is um, converted to the version for your particularly, I'm sorry, for your particular Corel version. For instance, X6 would need to be cre um, converted to an X5. However, or whatever application you have, make sure that you uh, have a palette that will open up or import, should I say, into your Corel Draw. I'm using X6, so what we want to do is uh, we're going to try to, or I'm going to try to demonstrate, or demonstrate to you, hopefully, how to select a red from the portion of the Go palette, which is using the red color spots here, the blocks. You can see that I have a page open, which is page one, and I've picked a portion of the palette that um, I can use to match the red from the little Irishman's beard over here. So uh, I just chose an image at random just to demonstrate how to get that red or choose that red from a Go palette. Okay, so um, there's several pages to this palette, as you can see as I click along. There are huge um, number, a huge number of colors that we can match. An awesome palette here for matching colors. There are so many tints and um, color swatches of greens, blues, reds. It just goes on and on for 26 pages. You go all the way to the end here. You can see some more reds as well, pinks. It's brilliant. It's a brilliant palette to use and I highly recommend it. Uh, Pantone color chart here at Condi with um, uh, using your spot color. Uh, we have the RGB color palette as well. doesn't have as many colors as you're going to see in the Pantone to choose from. So this little bearded guy here, he has a um, RGB color value in his beard. And I want to show you how to select a color using this color palette. Okay with a red, choosing from the red portion of a palette that would better match the spot color in this red beard. Okay, so how do we go about getting the value, the RGB value, of what color is in his beard? So I'm going to show you how to do that. And then I'm going to, we're going to open up the uh, color uh, dialog box. I'm going to show you how to do that. And then we're going to choose a color from this color swatch palette here on this page that will better match the uh, color in his beard uh, from the Pantone chart. Okay, RGB value, Pantone value. Okay, this being RGB, this being a Pantone color. So we want to match a red. We need to get that red. So oftentimes we have calls on, uh, you know, I can't get the red in my image. Uh, how do I get the right color red? Um, we have the issue with red blues, but you can use this chart for any color um, that you want. We're going to choose something from this palette here in the Pantone again to the RGB value in the red. How do I know this is RGB value? Well, if I click over here having my color swatch open, this is my RGB color palette, and if I want to see color palettes I can see it here. Okay, I can choose whatever color palette I want from here. I also have the Pantone Go color palette in here. Um, but I have an RGB value open and it is selected. If I click it again, it will deselect it. So I'm going to leave it open. I'm going to go back and I'm going to choose this little eyedropper. You see it adds color to the color palette. Uh, so if I choose the eyedropper by clicking on it, left clicking on it. As I move this eyedropper across the page you can see that it uh, with everything I'm hovered over it changes to whatever the eyedropper is over. Okay, 
So let's move over here and see what colors in this beard. As you can see, this is an RGB value of R225, green 17, and blue 5. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to find a color in this palette uh, that we could convert our spot color or match to using the Pantone palette. So in this video, we're going to show how to how to match color doing that using a color palette. Uh, we send you color palettes often when you're having trouble with spot color and um, we're always trying to improve ways of showing you how to use the color palettes for spot color and using your images. Okay, so now that I know that the uh, value of this color is red, okay, I can add it to my chart just by clicking on it and I'll find it here highlighted. You can see that there's a little uh, dotted box around the color that I have added to the chart. Okay, So you can add color to the chart as well by selecting on it from your eyedropper here. Now what I want to do is with that color selected, okay let's go back we have this color selected, we know it's selected cancel all of that, sorry and we want to match it to a value um, in the color chart. So let's do this just to make it a little easier. Let's take this color and just place it in a circle here. All right, so we can work with it better. If I right click, I can get the stroke defined as that color as well so um, or I can take the stroke out by right clicking on the X but we have a solid red circle here the same color as his beard and to prove that we'll click off grab our little color I drop over here and we can see that that is a red 225 a green 17 and a blue 5 if we go down here we get the same value so now we have something that we can just basically um, when I open the color dialog box that we can work with a little easier just for this demonstration okay so now what we want to do is use our pick tool and select that object now if we were working from this image we could select um, a part of the color in his beard as well and as you can see those values are down here okay so we're just going to select this circle of red which matches the beard and come down here double click on your paint bucket that's your fill this is your stroke we have no stroke now again I want to show you if you right click on that color swatch um, we can add stroke just by right clicking on that color okay if we right click on the X we can make the stroke go away okay just wanted to show you that little trick but we're going to go to the paint bucket and we're going to find a red using our sorry using our document palette so we're going to select the document palette now what we have is the um, document palette up that we that we're, we chose the document palette from the CDR uh, open document from the Pantone colors here. So using that, we want to find a red that's going to match. And let's just click something here, okay, so we can tell how this works. We've got an eyedropper going here, so every color we click changes. Um, and if you hover over it, you can see new color, and then you can see old color, and old color being this color here okay so we're on our document palette from our palettes tab and we're gonna find a color in here just by clicking on different colors that matches blends where you don't see the difference in the color by simply clicking on one of these red values until we find what we want okay so let's click on that red as you can see it's a little brighter uh, if you come over here to this one uh, we can see that that didn't match as well so we got the new color and the old color you can always hover over and find what your new color and your old color is you can also 
uh, tell that this is a CMYK value here or you can jump down and um, change these colors and as you change the colors you see the values change we're just going to use automatic okay so let's just keep clicking until we find a red that we want it's a little darker but I already know that one of these values is going to better match and we'll just keep going till we find it and I'm thinking that this color right here is better suited to match the old color okay and so that's how we can find a color from our color palette if we can't find it from this page we can always go to another page and find the red that's better suited and once we have that red selected we have some options here as well where we can convert color and that's a great thing or we can just add it to a color palette so we could add it to our color palette and it'll show up over here as well okay and then we just click OK and so now we've selected a color from our Pantone color chart where we can switch add or manipulate color match color specifically to the red in his beard okay and that's how we use spot color with color charts if you have any questions on how to do this feel free to give us a call here at Condi my name is Vicki thank you for your time